Well, I got this wheel. It's one of the double wall wheels from yesterday that I restored, got the free wheel all freed up on it. Well, now I'm redoing all the bearings. The cups are in good shape. Just gotta clean the old grease out. Which is as simple as wiping it out, provided that your house is already disgusting like mine and you don't really care about getting crap all over the floor. Well, get that nice and clean. Get the old grease out. There's no pitting or anything, it would appear. If you do both sides. You can see that side's still nice and gritty and dirty and gross. Give it a couple of good wipes with a couple of clear spots on the towel. And you got a nice clean bearing cup. Now, I've got these crappy old bearings that were in there. And I'm just going to reuse them. The cage for the one of the side is pretty fucked up. So the balls don't stay in there, but... I can make them stay. That's not a big deal. I just have to get this lid off. But there you have it. I'm going to clean the one that's good off and throw some grease on them and get them in there. So now I'm cleaning all the old grease and dirt and grit off of the old bearing, getting it all nice and clean. Not only do you clean the cage, but you also want to go through and do each ball individually and get any grit, grease, make sure you move it around in every direction, expose every surface of the ball. And when you do, a 1987 original set of bearings looks all nice and brand new like that. And you can reuse them. So now i got to grease this puppy up and throw it in. So a lot of people spend, you know, 12, 14 bucks to get a 12 ounce tube of bicycle, bicycle lube. I just go to Walmart, get the super tech general purpose, uh, lithium grease. And it's $3 for a 14 ounce tube of it. And I don't use the, the gun. I just use my fingers, get a little bit of it on your fingers, coat the surface of the bearing, all surfaces of the bearing. You want to coat the front and the back. You want to do the whole thing. You don't want to leave a single surface of the bearing without grease on it. Despite people saying that you don't need that much. Every single bit of this grease is a barrier against dirt and water. And since these are not sealed bearings, you need that grease. So you end up with it like that, nice and greasy, nice little barrier. And then I just take my axle. That's the, the cup right here that is going to sit on that bearing. I put a little bit of grease on this. I let the bearing, the grease that's on the bearing itself transfer to the inner cup as to not overdo it, but I just take a glob, put it on there, spread it around nice and evenly, and then the axle itself, spread a little grease on it. Not too much to where it's all squeezing out of everything, but then you just stick that puppy in there, get it all the way down. Oh, piss. Wrong sign. Okay, so that's going to have to wait for a second. And then I just take that, put that on there. To hold the bearing in place, I put the little cap over, flip it over where the weight of the wheel sits on it. And now I can work on the other one. Now this one has a really nasty bearing cage that won't hold the balls. <laughs> won't hold the balls, won't cut the balls. But anyway, sorry. Um, 
So what I do with that is that makes it really easy to get this cage nice and clean. You get all the old grit and grease and everything out of here. And then I just literally take that bearing cup and put it into the wheel. Then I'll put in each ball individually. I've already packed the... I've, I can't... Here. I've already packed it with grease. So there's grease in there. And now I will clean each and every ball, put the ball in there, and then put in the axle. All right, now that each and every ball is in on the loose one, the axle's greased, here comes the easy part. You stick it in. Fuck. Fire truck. Well, I dropped one of the bearings on the floor, so now it's got frickin' dog fur all over it. Damn it. But, I'm not rad BMX. I don't have to be perfect. <laughs> so I'm throwing that bitch in there, cat fur and all. And we put our inner race on. Tighten that sucker down. Which is very tedious and takes forever, I might add. And tighten this puppy down. And there it is. Nope, oh, it keeps tightening on me. There it is. Good enough.